Uh, so guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Again, been a bit of a hiatus, but I've been super busy. I promise it's been worth it. I got some weird news, um, and, and you can tell by the title what it is. I quit my job, and I quit my job so I can do something weird, and I'm gonna travel. Yeah, I'm quitting my job so I can travel with my family of five and an RV trip across America. And I have no idea when we're gonna stop, but it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> And the reason I can do this is because of studying and, and, and my career with my CCNA and my CCMP and becoming a network engineer. All of that has made this dream a complete reality and it's awesome. So stay tuned, I'll tell you more about that. And, uh, and real quick before I go into anything else. Oh, and by the way, this is Mo. You've probably seen him in the intro. He's a real guy. <laughs> so uh, I'll be announcing a giveaway in my next video uh, for I and E. Um, it'll be a CCMP training package worth about 500 bucks and I'm giving it away completely free. So watch my next video. I'll be uh, listing how you can enter this contest. But yeah, it's a killer, killer training package. If you've ever used INE, um, they're awesome. And I'm using them right now to study for my CCMP. So I can highly recommend this training program. So subscribe, stay tuned for my next video and enter the contest. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So I quit my job. Uh, now calm down, I did get another job. So no worries there. Uh, but it's something I'm super, super excited about. And uh, I wanna go into what this is. Kinda go into a quick story. For the longest time I wanted to travel with my family. I've had a huge dream of doing this. And um, I didn't know how to make it happen. Uh, so I, I thought, you know what? Maybe I can take my job on the road. So I started applying for remote jobs and um, Really, I didn't get any replies back. And whenever a recruiter would reach out to me, I'd say, uh, no thanks, I'm looking for a remote job. If you have that or if this can be that, let me know. And they usually said no. And I can, you know, get tagged by a recruiter six to seven times a day. This happens when you have your CCNA and you have a bit of experience. So remember guys, study. I didn't come up with anything. I started thinking anybody with a networking job who was remote, it's gotta be a unicorn, it's crazy. But one day this guy reached out to me and he said, Hey, I've got this job. I said, no, I don't, I'm not interested. I want to work remote. And he said, you know what? Uh, we could probably make that happen. I was like, wait, what? We can make this happen? So uh, a few interviews later, I've got a job offer and it's gonna be a fully remote job and they're gonna let me travel and they're excited about it. That's crazy. So yeah, I got this job. I'm gonna be working fully remote. I'll still be doing Cisco. I'll be doing networking, I'll be doing voice, everything I love doing, everything my certifications help me do, I'll be doing it with this job, except I'll be doing it from anywhere. So one day I'll be on the beach, one day I could be in a mountain somewhere. Uh, yeah, internet might be sparse, but I'm gonna make that work. And if you wanna follow along on this adventure and kinda see how I'm gonna make this work with a family of five, um, you can follow along, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, it's called letsjustgo.family, that's actually the web address if you wanna uh, hit that up. So I definitely recommend checking that out. So why am I telling you about me quitting my job so I can do this whole crazy travel remote thing? Well, I, I wanna lay this out for you guys because this is something that's near and dear to my heart and what I just now in my career started thinking about and that's living a life on purpose, designing your career for your life, not for money and not for you know other random ambitions making sure that your career fits your lifestyle, not the other way around. So I started my career with just one goal in mind, and that was money. And getting my CCNA or getting my CCMP was the fastest way to get it, and it totally happened. So within five years, I was making more money than I thought I ever would. At an age, I thought it would be impossible to make that much money. It was, I mean, I reached my goal. It was incredible. So it was great, but, but was it great? So, I spent all this time getting to a place where I'm making a ton of money for my family, but I, th I think I may have missed a step in the planning process because something was missing. I never put much thought into what I actually wanted my life to look like. I got caught up in the rat race of you know making money and, and making the American dream happen. So when I like when I'd safely secured the American dream, I realized that it wasn't necessarily my dream. You see, once I, once I reached the summit of my goals and I was kind of looking around and surveying how far I'd come and being proud of my accomplishments, I realized that the lifestyle I had attained 
really wasn't making me happy. Or I mean, I was happy, but not, not as happy as I could be. Yeah, I, mean, I have a great career with a, a great family. But like I said, there was something missing. There was a dream that I had squashed down a long time ago in the name of responsibility and common sense, which are, <laughs> duh, good things. So, but I had a dream to travel. I had a dream to, to see the world and not waste another moment in a cubicle bathed in fluorescent light. I, I wanted to see the world and actually experience things. A dream to spend more time with my family than with my coworkers. Now, coworkers are fine, but my family is a priority. It's important to me. It's it's my legacy. I want to make sure that I'm spending more time investing in them and not so much, as my, the majority of my time with my coworkers. So I lamented over the realization that if I had only thought of this years ago, I could be in a different spot. I could actually be living my dream. And uh, like I said, where I'm at is not a bad place. It's just not really my dream. But you know what? I said, you know, it doesn't matter. I can't change the past, but I can absolutely change my future. And I can sit down and think about where I want to be. So I decided to change it now. And I realized it's not too late. And that's where I'm at. So I decided to shift the focus of my career from making money to making a lifestyle that I want. So the whole point of all this, you know, yay, yay, me, I'm doing something cool. The whole point of telling you this is I want you guys to sit back and think about what you want your life to look like. And this is my advice to you. So whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this for a while and you may feel like it wasn't what you set out to do or if there's something missing or you find yourself burnt out or in a slump, this is for you. So before you start like hitting your goals super hard, before you start hitting CCNA studies or CCMP studies, take a minute, take a breath, <laughs> Spend some time thinking about what you want your life to look like in five years, in 10 years. Do you want to become a CIO of a huge company? Do you want to own your own business? Do you want to work abroad? Do you want to become a digital nomad? Which is kind of what I'm doing. It's, it's uh, working from anywhere and just kind of moving around, being nomadic. Or do you just want to work from home and, and just chill with your family in a house in the suburbs? Figure out what you want your life to look like and then design your life. If you don't design your life, Someone else will. Now, I feel like I need to say this. Getting your CCNA or getting your CCMP or any other certification will give you the life you want. You just have to design it and, and get, uh, put all your efforts towards deciding where you want to go. Network engineer positions can be worked from anywhere in almost any industry. So you can design your life however you want. If you want to be remote, you can be remote. If you want to work somewhere super cool like Google or NASA or or anywhere, you can do that too. Now, many people tell you that only programmers or coders can demand this kind of flexible lifestyle. Not true. I bought into that actually for a while and I thought about abandoning Cisco and, and going into like web development or some kind of programming class, but that's a lie. Network engineers can demand this type of lifestyle too. Uh, I'm doing it. Now, there are a ton of cool blogs and articles and books that teach you how to find direction for your life and plan your life. Um, I'm not the expert on it, but I can point you in, in the direction of some cool stuff. Uh, one guy I follow, Michael Hyatt, he created a great book and I'll put it in the description below. Check it out. If you need to just kind of change the focus of your life or just figure out where you need to go, where you want to be, it's definitely worth it to just take a break before you start hitting the road. Because once you have an end goal in mind, once you have a dream set, that fuels your, your desire even even more to get your CCNA or your CCMP. And having that in mind just, just is the fuel that gets you going. And I know for me, having this goal now to travel makes me even more excited to get my CCMP and then my CCMP collaboration. And then you know what? I, I think I wanted to go for the CCIE now too. So having the this plan in place, having this goal in mind will fuel this passion as well. I'm just trying to get you thinking about what you want your life to look like. Because I can give you tips on certifications and, and training and, and career advice, but I'd want to leave you with this as well. You know, Is this the real direction you want your life to, to go? And I'm here to tell you that becoming a network engineer can complement any life goal. And networking is awesome. And, and, and becoming a network engineer is an amazing career. It'll, it'll take you so far to so many places. And as long as you design your life, I think you'll be happy with your decision. But too many network engineers set out to just focus on the money and they end up in a job they hate. But I think the best way to avoid that is to design what, your, what you want your life to look like and, and go out for jobs that are, that are um, and, and look for jobs that support that lifestyle.
because there's many options out there. Different companies uh, support different goals and dreams. Getting your CCNA or your, C or your CCMP will help you get a great job. There's no doubt about that. There's no debate. But it's up to you to decide what type of job that is and what lifestyle it will afford you. And that's my advice to you. Sit down, take a minute, take a breath, decide where you want to be. Well, anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching Network Chuck. I mean, we're over 3,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. So thank you so much for watching and, and staying tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me some comments if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi. And, um, and if you need if you need a place to get started, if you need resources or if you, if you have no idea where to go for training, um, I have some links below um, for for some uh, for training you can go to. Um, if you want to, you know, support me at all, um, use my Amazon uh, links below affiliate links. So you know, if you want to buy something like if you're building out a computer or something, or if you're going to buy your lab, use my links. Shop around; it'll help me out. And uh, also, if you want some nerdy T-shirts, I kind of designed some T-shirts that I think are pretty cool. So check out my website uh, below as well. And uh, again. I'm doing this cool contest giveaway for some CCMP training with the INE. So check out their link below as to what the product's gonna be. In my next video, I'll be releasing this contest and I'll be giving you more details on how to enter this contest. So uh, thanks guys, let's get certified together. Let's keep going. Let's make your life happen, design your life. Catch you next time. Oh, oh.